911, where is your emergency? Hurry up. What's going on the road? The girl's all bloody. The boys chase them. I don't know what's happening. I just walked out the door. Please hurry, hurry, hurry. This big male wearing a black shirt, red hoodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's turned down the first street. He's in one of those two houses right here. He has a knife. He's right there. Hey, get down on the ground. Get your hands out of your pocket. Drop it. Stop. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop it. Throw the knife away from you. Throw the knife away from you now. I, I need to get you medical help. Throw the knife away from you. Throw the knife away. I'm here. Throw the knife away from you. Throw it away now. Throw it away. He's got another knife in his right hand. Throw it away now. Throw it away. Chamizo was transported to a local hospital where he died from his injuries. The woman who was stabbed by Chamizo was also transported to a local hospital where she received treatment and is expected to survive her injuries. All right, here we go. How many times are officers trained to fire? Donald Schweitzer, I have a couple questions for you uh, on this one. One, the, the response, everything happens very quickly as the officer arrives. And then the second part, where they're trying to make the determination of when we can go in to start rendering the aid. Yeah, Vinny, you know, just following up with uh, what Dr. Taylor stated, you know, the officers go through various training, shoot, don't shoot, you know, but when the bullets are being you know, fired, you never know when somebody is going to be hit and incapacitated. So they tend to shoot more than once when they're in the situation here. And that's kind of the answer to your question. You know, when they're looking at should they approach him, you know, it's very dicey. This guy's holding uh, a knife in his hand. And you don't know how uh, lethal he's going to be. You know, he was crazed. You could see it in his eyes. The officers pull up, uh, they give him commands, he doesn't listen. And then what happens is that. He brandishes both weapons in his hands and, you know, he basically takes his own life. Then this guy should have listened to the officers. He should have uh, put those weapons down and laid down, laid down and just submitted to them.